listen very simple talk you have some function okay mountain dew original password for example you put it through uh i let, let's say you put it through this oreo this is my hash function you put mountain dew through oreo and on the other side don't ask me why I have a Pepsi. Okay. It got converted. So uh, I don't have three hands, guys. I'm really sorry. Uh, Mountain Dew went through whatever was there and it got converted into this a Pepsi. Right. Now you can't go back. You, you can't just take the Pepsi. You can't take it and you can't be like, hey, go back into Mountain Dew. Doesn't work. Hash the one way function. Not reversible. Someone take a recording of this. I'm going to put it on Instagram. You can't do that. But what you can do is you can go through as many as iterations of the Mountain Dew. Maybe you do Mountain Dew first. Maybe then you do a different bottle first. Don't ask me why I have so many bottles. You can do another, you know, bottle. And you can keep on trying that on and on and on. And you can go through a literally millions and millions of different bottles. And every single time you will get a different thing. You will maybe get a Pepsi. You will maybe get a screen cleaner, whatever, right? But one of those million tries, because now you're just brute forcing, you're trying every single possible combination. And by mistake, maybe by chance, you emulate a Mountain Dew bottle. You don't know. Dew, did I say Dew? Mountain Dew, sorry. Mountain Dew bottle, by chance, you don't know if this is the actual password because you only have seen Pepsi. But because when you put it through the Oreo thingy, it's going to show Pepsi. And now you can compare Pepsi to the original hash which you had. And you'll be like, hey, those both are the same things. And because, you know, ha normally hashes do not have hash collision and it's a pretty rare chance. Don't worry about it. For all intents and purposes, every single plain text, every single bottle of Mountain Dew gets its corresponding bottle of Pepsi. That's just how it works, right? It's one on one comparison, one in one and one directional function. So whenever you see Pepsi, this specific model, you can for sure confirm that the thing that it came from, which was this trial Mountain Dio, that was my original password. I didn't reverse the hash. I just tried out all the possible scenarios. That's it. Hash, one-way function, not reversible. You're just trying all the brute forces. That's it. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, when it comes to CrackStation and another websites, what's don't explode. What's going to happen is uh, CrackStation just has a really long list of already, you know, known hashes. So every single bottle of Mountain Dew, they know what is the corresponding Pepsi bottle for it. Dew, did I say Dew? Dew, Mountain Dew. They have a ready-made, you know, hash for it. It's just called a hash table, rainbow tables, whatever you want to call them. And that's it. They just have a really big database of pre-compiled hashes. That's why people mentioned that you should not keep a password which has been in a database or, you know, a breach database before. So, yeah. Cheers. Hope